Let's give them something to talk about. Big facts. Big. Where do we want to start? I mean, there, there's a there's a W. It's a pay. A W got a. It's a W. Is 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 it drip? Is am I tripping or is this not like? Is this not as hype as regular AEW pay per view season? Well, we talked about this last week with how poor the TV's been the last four weeks. So the build of this show seems weak because the card not isn't necessarily weak, but they've just done a bad job getting us to this weekend. Cards not bad. No, and that's that's usually how they cars be good. Nigga, they pay per views be good. Cards not bad. On weak spots, but. When you but again, like Pam said, like when the show starts, it's like it still kind of delivers no matter what it says on paper. Like I bet Christian Jungle Boy will be good. Yeah, it probably um, will be. That has a chance. It looks like a dud on paper because Christian Cage is coming back from injury. Jack Perry, you know, is a better worker than like a you know spot fest or in terms of like weapon spot fest match. But that match can deliver. Who knows? They I mean the only kind of weak spot is like you know Saray and that triple threat match. With Jamie Hader and Ruby Soho would, you know, they had to make that a triple threat. Yeah, to add, you know, the story element of of it. Yeah. The AEW originals versus the WWE, you know, sports entertainers. But but the story been really the the thing the whole time, right? But the story's really the story's really whose side is Ruby on? And Ruby saying I'm on my own side. Like whoever takes her son to football practice this week. (laughs) Hello, mix son. Whoever take her little mix on the football practice this week is that's who side she gonna be. I see it. I see it. I see it. And then there's stuff like Ricky Starks, Chris Jericho, which has been building since the start of the year. I mean, and, and, hey, listen, he was just saying if he beat Chris Jericho uh, two times, nigga, he already beat the nigga. You right? It, it put him there. I don't want. I don't. I don't like that. You don't like that. I've match. already said that uh, Action and Dread, he's gonna. Cross, uh, you think he's gonna turn cross. on him? I yeah, mean, he's he's just, but here's, here's he the just thing: jumped. one of two things happens for uh, 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 Rick with this. It, it's a win-win for him. If he beats him, he to beat one of the biggest names in pro wrestling ever twice to the moon, right? If not, then it sets up a trilogy with one of the biggest, most popular wrestlers of all time to the moon. Either way. I told we knew what was going to happen. He I, was going to lose the MJF, and he was going to get busy all year long. And that's what he's done. He just I don't, don't like it. I just don't like Chris Jericho. Well, you're not mm. supposed to, but you you. But we know what Chris Jericho is. To so I'm 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 missing Jackson. I'm I'm like missing what he is. Like I know who he is. I know who Chris Jericho is. I know who he was. But right now he doesn't seem like he's any like it's no trophy in that to me. He was the Ocho and now now he's well he's now, what's his story his story it's, is it's, what it's, it's like getting the take a match, but you get to win. I was about to say it's, his he's an undertaker that wrestles more consistently in terms of like I he has a pay-per-view match every Chris single time. Jericho? He wrestled well, you figure he lost the ROH world title and then it was immediately action and dready. Ricky Starks, and then kind of this downfall of like is Chris Jericho finally was, done? And then like what, so, someone like Ricky Starks who's on the ascent, Chris Jericho sees someone like him, like you're supposed to be the now and the future, and someone like me, the micro might be winding down in some people's eyes. And Ricky Starks was kind of pointing that out, like a guy like you clings on to the Daniel Garcias and the Sammy Guevara to stay relevant because they're my circle of the present and the future. And someone like Action and as well, which is why. He is an element in this story as well. I I I get that part, but I still don't see the prize in Chris Jerk. It, it could just be me. I don't see a win over Chris Jerk. Granted, he got the win. I understand. Hey yo, who remember Chris Jericho is. Remember on the Martin Comedy special where he said he can't go to jail because he was scared niggas was gonna get him because niggas was like, yeah, Martin. I got him. Like yeah. <laughs> that's what beating Chris Jericho. No, is. no, no, no. What I'm, what I'm saying is, mm-hmm. in this day, mm-hmm. what does Chris Jer- what does beating Chris Jericho mean today? He doesn't mm-hmm. hold any weight in the company. To he, me, he's the, actually yeah. No, he's he's got yeah. the most story of the company. He's beef with everybody. He's the first champ. Yeah, he's not. 
He's not at the him going over there is what no, solidified it in a lot of people's is, eyes. I think because cuz I think because where cuz wants Ricky to be. Mm-mm. But you got to go up. I know who Chris Jericho is. Right. I don't see Chris Jericho is anything more than what who, who could be the equivalent in the WWE? That's not. Well, this is what have been like. Right in call, are you calling him a Dolph Edge. Ziggler? No, I was going to say Edge. Edge. He's not a Dolph Ziggler, but what he does doesn't. No, maybe. No, Edge makes sense because I think that's your question, right? Your question is. Ricky no, but Stark... the thing is that Edge wasn't wrestling and then came back to not put over. No, 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 no. No, we're talking about value. Like, so. The, yeah. the, the, no, I know, the, I know, yeah. In terms of question... someone of. You know, no, the, no, 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 the, 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 que- the question yeah. is, after Ricky Starks beats Chris Jericho at Revolution, then what? Like, what, what, what's, what's the, like, what, what, what's, what happens like, after he beats Chris? It, I, I kind of think Davis tapped into it, right? It's what? one of two things. I think either way, Action Andretti terms, right? Mm-hmm. And then, and then you get, you bump. Now what you're doing is using Rick to bump action up action with a ready. loss. With- so it- the reason I think that oh go ahead, fam, keep going. But I think that's what we get. With <laughs> He's this. so I think- frustrated. Well, oh, I was too I when I came up. Y'all with this. missing what I'm. What I'm. No, I, I know. I know. I, I see exactly where you're going, man. Like I, I know who Chris Jericho is. I get it. Mm-hmm. I'm. I'm definitely not going to put a win over Chris Jericho and a win over the Undertaker at WrestleMania. Mm. On the same level, yeah. I understand. Well, it's almost what, more like Triple H too. Like, what did Seth Rollins gain from beating Triple H? What did Roman Reigns gain from beating Triple H at WrestleMania? Like those WrestleMania matches that Triple H was having, and, you know, in the 2010s. What did someone gain from those matches that I weren't dream matches like him versus no, no, Sting? No, when I mentioned that came back, like that's well, kind of what when he was trying to put these young guys over in a way, like. What do they gain from it instead of like nigga, they were in the ring with Triple H nigga, to solidify? You're, you're putting Jericho in the ring with Ricky Starks, and it's sucking Ricky Starks. Yeah. It's not like he's. It's not like Jericho is raising Ricky Stark. He already beat him, like Cuz said. No, no, no. The dub it's, is what is is the, the dub is the only thing that raises Ricky Starks. Ricky Starks was already high. Ricky Starks. No, but if Ricky Starks didn't get that first win, the story doesn't matter to begin with. But. I, I guess, but I because I, I think the question still is: is what 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 is Ricky Starks do? Who like, let's if if the feud ends at Revolution, another night what, under my belt. What's the track? But what's the track? Because I don't I don't really. It doesn't feel like Ricky's in the. Well, mix. that's when we have to start going like real fantasy booker. Like, all right, so who wins Samoa Joe or Wardlow, and then who faces right. Hobbs and then Hobbs, loses Hobbs, and do Hobbs. they run back Hobbs and Starks it's for the Hobbs TNT title? Like that's. That's a whole other thing. But, but like, that's, not not, that's over there at this point because you got a whole know, new. Yeah. That's over there. I don't. I, I think those things will start intertwining less and less. I think you have to. You'll have your mid card title scene. You have your, your your title card, and you got whatever that other. You know what I'm saying? The Run DMC belt. I don't know what it's called. But wait, so because we, we Atlantic. I I don't know if they're going to throw oh, Ricky at, at Orange Orange Cassidy, but we, we when we talked about Ricky Starks recently, we oh, were saying TNT just... title at some point, right? Like maybe, but that means he would have to be banging with Samoa Joe and Wardlow and them. At some and point. actually, Ricky Starks and Samoa Joe makes a lot more sense than Wardlow beating Samoa Joe only than a drop at Hobbs because that's two, you know, hot potato, you know, title switches back to back. It's like that doesn't make sense. And like if Wardlow loses to Samoa Joe. Cesaro. He better hold up. Actually, do I have that image loaded up? Cause uh, God damn it, this shit right here. <laughs> but also, don't don't forget, like this is kind of a curse of death because Scorpio Sky won, lost his title match. Warlow won, lost his title match. Like this isn't this is the Nobody's reverse money won. in the bank. Wait, no, yeah, wait, Jeff. I wanted to ask. So, so the ladder. It was the face of the Revolution ladder match. What what exactly does it mean when you get the Sonic Ring? Like, what what you does it mean? The, it's a TNT title. So, shot. like, if you TNT take damage, you you don't yeah. die, right? If he holds, as long as he holds on to the ring, don't yeah, you, you take any damage. You <laughs> it's you if you're ever if it's if you go overboard, that's what you use. It's yo, I'm, his big ass ain't getting in that ring. Wait, so like you get in the goddamn uh, uh large 
<laughs> large. Wait, can we have a conversation though? Did large. did y'all so the 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 conversation that's been going online because oh, obviously powerhouse Hobbs in a ladder match is already like co- right, it's confusing moves. because that's well because yeah because this no, is don't big... forget the one they had last year was Hobbs Keith Lee and Wardlow and everyone's like why are these guys in the no, no exactly Starks, Orange Cassidy and I forgot who the other man was but yeah, I was I was shout out the pass to Keith Lee. Piece, it, Catholic, Keith Lee said, "Hey, I want that world title. I'm about to be the first black man with that title. I, 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 I hope, I hope, I hope. I'm afraid out. I've got some bad. I, news. I hope they figure out some type of storyline that makes sense. But yeah, um, this man's is, teaming with Dustin Rhodes. I don't see a world title shot coming. Now, mind you, soon. they are they already put Commander in his AW debut in this 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 madcap." ladder match and people flying off the ropes and 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 driving people in the the ladder set up on top of ladders i'm i'm working and i'm watching the show i'd see online they're like why is he going or they were like why is he going for this ladder he should be going for that ladder and i said i i anytime somebody gets on the ladder i'm nervous any ladder i'm nervous but when it's like short usually when it's short ladder it's they're jumping off. They're jumping off. This is not going to be the finish of the match. And then he cut because he climbed up the ladder and he got to the top. But then he st- he's standing. He's standing in that position on top At where top, I top. Yeah. where I am, where I know like I better be sturdy. So I'm about, if, if this shit fall, everything broke. I'm not making the podcast next week. You Dumb. know what I'm saying? They got mad because the refs was holding the ladder. It was like three. They they was like firemen. They was holding the shit crazy. But cause you but saw he had the busted I ladder. Was I don't know if I've yeah. ever seen a sturdy pro wrestling ladder. But he well, also that, it's not the first time they've had the refs hold the ladders. That's if you watch any kind of ladder match in the past, they've had what they're for. the ladders. But he like bumped into Takeshka and that like busted the ladder. The ladder, the ladder. It was fucked. And then, yeah, like, that one he, time. he tries to like extend it and like it doesn't go all the way. So like he tells Rick Knox like hold this ladder. He's so, like hold like, it. Like, like, he was in down. character. I mean yeah, I don't know. And, but he's also like I can't climb. And so again like how to like going and get like the one in the corner. He's like I gotta win this match now because AW has the worst ladder matches because there's too much time spent not climbing ladder. Like WWE <laughs> does a good job of like no like WWE books their ladder matches. No more, right. Like, they I, no. actually have people constantly run up. AEW has like it's spot to spot. They're just doing spot. spots, that's, right? Yeah, that's why like the casino one when MJF won at the end. That's what. That's like, why Commander when like. That's why Commander debuted there. Yeah, but like when in that one last year, I'd all out Cesaro or uh, Claudia, I should say, or Wheeler Yuta could have won that match as soon as they entered. And same thing with Andrade and Roosh. like they entered beat like everyone down. I'm like just climb the ladder, you can win the match right now. It's not mm-hmm. one of those things where like you have to wait. Um. Well, I mean, hey, if you want to talk about ter- we, we there's been questions about AEW production of television for the last couple of months, just, just on gigging and 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 and. and <laughs> you mean when John Mike's like, well, when 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 Takeshita when Takeshita's on his arm, like, uh, and and they're showing it on. I'm like, come on, bro, like, what are we doing? Why, why? But uh, nah, it's uh, I like this. I was immediately ready for a, a, a I guess, because it's Samoa Joe Wardlow at Revolution, but I was ready for this. But it's also a cheap pop and a meaningless pot shot. Like, Finish. Hobbs Finish. has been a single Finish. star doing the book of Hobbs things, and he has done nothing. But it was and hometown, did, right? And they just did this because cool, they were. It, it got a cool promo yeah. afterwards, too. You know what I mean? I'm I like for it. it. Yeah, I rock with it. What you saying, man? You see, Dre. This? That Andretti spot was some wild shit. I ain't gonna yeah, the Falcon Arrow. Yeah, there were a lot of there were a lot of nervous spots. Yeah, I don't. It's something about you. I don't. It's something about it. I just don't be trusting them niggas. The only crazy one that actually looked good and safe was the Blue Thunder Bomb by Takeshka on Commander. Like they somehow landed that and looked. I didn't even see that safe. But the Falcon Arrow and then Semigora did like, Swanton on the outside, like. Wait, was was that the one where Take- he landed and it looked like he landed on Takeshita's leg? Takeshita was like grabbing his Maybe. leg. And he was like, Rrr. that shit was nuts. Every, every one of those spots looked. Again, this is the face Dangerous. of the Revolution ladder yes. match on Dynamite. 
Like, well, wait, well, I was gonna well, talk about that. What because because talk talk about that because you meant I saw that tweet that that match takes place at the pay per view, but much it's like the pay per view, yeah, the full gear world title eliminator, they moved it from the pay per view to TV the next, because the the, next week, the why? Ricky Starks injury that wasn't an injury, remember? But what, why, why do what, what, what do you, why do they do that? Because he, because three time booker of the year can't book a Bad fucking book. show to save his life. He don't remember. I movies. think he can book a pay per view. I mean, to be honest, the, it's, the it's too much. Really it's, good. Hey, somebody playing Roblox. <laughs> well, think about all right. So the, oh, the biggest thing on the pay per view, <laughs> the biggest thing on the pay per view, obviously on these four hour shows, they have a match that is no matter what determined to go sixty minutes. And well, I mean, and MJF like that is going to be sixty minutes regardless, and they have three other hours of. The women's triple threat match, the Texas death match between Mox and Paige. Oh, that's gonna go long. Um, the fatal four way tag match, the no holds barred match between Jack Perry and Christian Cage, um, the TNT title match, and there's one other one I might be missing as of right now. Wait, hold up, what else is there? They, they uh, might be prepping, um, Jericho they Starks. might be prepping to go back oh, to what yeah, we were Jericho talking Starks, about yeah. earlier. Mm-hmm. Um, they might be prepping, um, what's Less the crash dummy? What's the little What's crash the... dummy's name? Um, Darby Allen? Yes. Uh, <laughs> wait, who would he be facing? What's they, the story? They, no, no, no. They, they, they're because him and Danhausen won that 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 battle royal. Oh, oh that, your Orange Cassidy. Him and yeah, him and yeah, yeah. yeah hey, it, first don't yes. don't you diss my go crash like dummy. Okay, crash like dummy. he's so uh, uh, good. Also, also, I'm sorry. Right, they, yeah, 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 yeah. They, you know what I mean? They, they Orange crash so we got a. Probably what will be the match of the night: the Elite versus the House of Black for the trios titles. Y'all which again, say- that, they bet they've booked that badly because the Kenny Omega did they book issues, it? Which yeah, <laughs> then the last did two they weeks, book it? I feel like I feel like they do it like if if we don't need if we know the match is going to be fire. Exactly. No, yeah. I was going to so say were like it writes no, itself. Not. Yeah, because yeah. I am joking. I saw those tweets, but I kind of they're champions. At some point, if there's an especially if there's another trio, which they've been an established trio before the elite were champions. I mean, it makes sense on that level, but you gotta have to you gotta watch wrestling regularly and have people just like vying for titles. You have to establish the title. We seen Moses and and Kaju down there. We already Shane is on TV a week. Damn, wait. 